land on Jao Phraya River, right next to Sirirat Hospital, as an offering to His Majesty the King, if a Royal Thai Navy plan goes as planned. The Navy team is hoping to present the two seat vehicles to the much beloved monarch who has been undergoing treatment at the hospital. His Majesty is the great inspiration behind the Royal Thai Navy's efforts to build boats and planes for use itself instead of importing the supplies. Vice Admiral Sommai Prakan Samut, who heads the Naval Hydroplane Development Project, has recently disclosed that he looked up to His Majesty every time he ran into problems and felt discouraged. According to him, Talon was awarded the right to conduct research on the two-seat hydroplanes in 2007 under a multinational effort. Other countries are engaged in the project for a different size of hydroplanes. The project kicked off with an initial budget of 500,000 baht. It was progressing quite well until a major stumbling block emerged a year later. No pilot wanted to steer the prototype for test flights. In 2008, Somai decided to take a pilot course himself, even though he was already 57 at that time. Somai was the first pilot to conduct test flights for this project. With his fierce determination, the project has finally taken off. It has now attracted three more willing pilots. The Talent Research Fund and the Defense Ministry have also allocated 12 million baht and 15 million baht to the project, respectively. Captain Grichapon Riang Lekjam Nung said he was now so proud that he wrote the hydroplane that was developed by Thais. The research team has named its invention Naval Aircraft Experimental or NACS. Each next hydroplane weighs 360 kg with the maximum test load of 600 kg. It flies at a maximum speed of 90 knots and up to 10,000 feet above ground. It can take off and land on either ground or water surface. The next one and the next three have already been flown with great efficiency. On May 19th, they will carry out their first mission to survey sea transport spots for the transport ministry. The research team said these vehicles could be used for coastal patrols and rescue operations too. The construction of next two will be completed in less than two weeks, while next four will be ready to take off before the end of 2012. Although the construction cost of each hydroplane is now about 5 million baht, the cost will drop if more hydroplanes are manufactured. The nation's report by Thanapat Gitta Goson.